Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot. My name is Kianti and I'm going to bring us a, a love reading for February 2020. Uh, Pisces, this is energy, so this could be you or your person. This could be happening now, getting ready to happen, or if already happened. Um, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate for all the baby sharks, but if it resonates for you, please give me a like, a comment, subscribe, and a share. My fellow water babies, I do offer private readings, and if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below. All right, baby sharks, I'm going to give us a quick check-in. I'm going to do some quick energy check-ins for us. <clears throat> Again, guys, if the messages resonate, remember to give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or a share. Guys, it is energy. This could be you or your person. This is intended to be a love reading, baby sharks, but it could come out to resonate in other areas of your life, such as work and family, okay? All right, spirit. Can you give me some messages for the beautiful baby sharks, my beautiful Pisces spirit in love for February 2020? Give me some current energies in love for Pisces spirit. What do we need to know? I got the seven of wands and the king of wands. You definitely could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. I have someone standing their ground, possibly blocking, okay? It looks like someone is standing their ground, but they're getting ready to take some sort of action, okay? The King of Wands is a boss or an authority figure, okay? He is someone um, who takes care of his business. He takes action, okay? The King of Wands is about that action, and I do have someone being on defense or standing their ground, possibly blocking something, okay? Five of Swords, there's some mental conflict here. There's some jealousy. There's some competition, Okay, someone is in two minds. They're conflicted about something and they're standing their ground. Pisces, you could be this king of wands. You could be not playing any games right now, taking action about that action, standing your ground, blocking, blocking people or things out. There is some sort of, there's a five of swords here. So there's some sort of, there's some sort of mental conflict. There could be some sort of um, jealousy manipulation i have the chariot uh oh you could be dealing with the cancer but something is getting ready to change here there's getting ready to be some movement listen someone is getting ready to take control and take charge or something okay they're getting ready to stand their ground because there's some kind of conflict here okay there's some kind of conflict so so far guys i have aquarius libra these cards are just flipping i have aquarius libra gemini energy um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and I have Cancer energy. Now I have the world, okay? Someone has learned some lessons. Someone may be getting ready to, um, travel to you across. The, someone could be on the other side of the world from you and getting ready to travel towards you. Some of you could be communicating with someone on the other side of the world, okay? But there is something about an ending, a lesson being learned, and I do have some cards of traveling here, okay, Pisces? Give me one more for the baby shark spirit give me one more for the baby sharks the knight of swords okay and what's at the bottom of my deck the seven of cups okay so there's some confusions or some options let's go ahead and get into this pisces i got the seven of wands aries leo sag energy someone is standing their ground they're in defense they're blocking out something or they're fighting some sort of battle where they're having to stand their ground they're having to hold their position okay Aries Leo Sag energy. I have the King of Wands. Okay, this is a doer. Aries Leo Sag energy, but this is someone who's getting ready to take action. Someone who's getting ready, who's someone who's in a position of control, possibly authority, and they're getting ready to take action towards something. The King of Wands does not sit on his ass. Okay, he takes action, and this could be you, Pisces. Put put this where this goes. Then I have the Five of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> It's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? And look, look how she's holding that knife in her hand, okay? There is some sort of conflict here. If this, this could be a mental conflict. Someone could be con conflicted and be about two minds about doing something. But this could also be petty uh, games, jealousy, manipulation, spite, okay? Wow, okay? Next, I have the chariot, okay? This is uh, Cancerian energy, okay? But this is someone that's getting ready to triumph. This is someone that's getting ready to take control over something. They're getting ready to travel. If this person, this person could possibly travel for work <clears throat> or something, about you, somebody could be traveling for work. They could be conflicted about accepting an offer because it's going to require for them to travel, okay? Someone, some of you could be, some of you could be rejecting a, a new offer of employment or offer to travel for some reason, okay? I have the world, okay? This is about an ending, okay? This is about a lesson being learned, about some cycles coming to an end, okay? Someone learning some lessons, all right? And the next card out is the Knight of Swords. This is more Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But the Knight of Swords is a, is a messenger, okay? 
he, he's rushing in. And the message that he's rushing in is the sword, the sword that he's wielding is the truth, okay? But this is somebody that's getting ready to take some fearless action. Pisces, put this where this go. This could definitely be you being a king of wands, getting the hell out of Dodge, putting the end into something, standing your ground, okay? Not, not here for the mind games, but this is the knight of swords. This is somebody that's fearless, okay? This is somebody getting ready to take some fearless action to end something and get the hell out of something. This is somebody taking control and standing their ground for definitely. At the bottom of my deck, I had the Seven of Cups. So someone could have some options or someone could be confused or somebody could just be fantasizing about taking this action and putting something to an end. We'll see what I get for us, baby sharks. Let's go. Again, guys, this message is not going to be for everybody. Please don't fit, don't put, don't take what doesn't fit for you. If it doesn't fit for you, chuck it, okay? It's just not your message, all right? All right, baby sharks. Why is the seven of wands here for the baby sharks? What is this seven of wands about, spirit? Why is someone on defense here in the baby sharks vicinity, spirit? Make it plain for us. Make it plain for the Pisces. Why is this seven of wands? This could definitely be you blocking somebody, Pisces, and moving the hell on. This could be someone blocking you. I don't know what this seven of wands. I don't know what someone is blocking, but someone is blocking and standing their ground and getting ready to take action. The Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, and here's that Chariot again. Okay, so some of you are definitely dealing with the Cancerian, okay? <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But someone is standing their ground, okay? They're, they're, they're defending themselves in some sort of way. They possibly could be holding on to money or they could be very stubborn, but they're getting ready to take an action. This does have something to do with something long-term. The Knight of Pentacles is a long-term commit, commitment or stability. Now I have death. There's an ending coming to this, the Ace of Swords. So there's about to be some truth spoken. The fool, someone's getting ready to take a leap towards you, Pisces, or you towards something or someone, okay? There's about to be movement, okay? Someone is holding on to this. Someone could be holding on to a grudge, Pisces. I just heard that, and getting ready to let go. There's getting ready to be an ending to someone holding a grudge, and they're getting ready to speak to you or you to them. Wow. What, why is the King of Wands here for Pisces? Why is the King of Wands here for the baby sharks? Wow, Pisces. Why is the King of Wands here for the baby sharks? Six of Cups. All right, don't kill the messenger, Pisces. Here's that King of Wands again, Aries, Leo, Sash. Don't kill the messenger, Pisces. But there is a past soulmate, either you or a past soulmate is getting ready to take some action. Aries, Leo, Sash energy. Here's that King of Wands. Here's the Six of Cups. This is a past life soulmate. You could have knew this person from a past life. You could have been knowing this person since childhood. You could have children with this person. But this is someone who's having fond memories of you, Pisces, and they're getting ready to take action. He's clarifying himself at the bottom of my deck. Yep. Page of, cups, he's get, page of Cups, he's getting ready to make an offer towards you. Or you, them, Pisces, put this for this goals. But there's about to be some sort of reunion and reconciliation, looks like. Why is the Five of Swords here, then? Why is the Five of Swords here for the baby sharks? Mm -mm. Why is this Five of Swords here for the baby sharks? I don't know why my... <laughs> there we go. Why is the Five of Swords here for the baby sharks? Why is this Five of Swords here for the baby sharks? Spirit. There is some sort of mental conflict or some sort of there, or there this could have been in, in the past but there's some sort of the five of swords is petty mind game. see there's the truth the ace of swords there's the truth again the two of wands and the world wow okay at the bottom of my deck i have a king of pentacles you could be dealing with the taurus virgo capricorn this definitely could be about work guys okay because of the, the 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 king of wands and as well as the king of pentacles could be a boss or an authority figure okay but there is something about some sort of mental conflict. The Ace of Swords is about a truth being spoken. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Two of Wands is about picking a path or a direction. Someone may be having to turn their back on one thing in order to take the take a path into another. And, and it's clarified with that world again, okay? Something about a lesson being learned. Something about a truth being spoken. Something about a cycle ending. There has been a mental conflict behind this Pisces. I have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn at the bottom of my deck. And here's communication coming directly towards you, the moon. There is something about a rejected offer or a missed opportunity that's coming back around for you, Pisces. Something that's getting ready to heal for you, okay? I definitely see that. Why is the chariot here for Pisces? Why is the chariot here? Some of you definitely could be dealing with the cancer, five of pentacles. See, someone is feeling left out in the cold, okay? Ten of Wands, there's something about a heavy burden that's being, that's gonna, that's being dropped here. Someone is getting ready to move. I have two cards of the Chariot. So if you're not dealing with the Cancer, someone's definitely getting ready to move, Pisces. They're getting ready to take control of something and move, okay? The Page of Wands, there's going to be communication about this. 
that this is something that could have left you heartbroken and betrayed. Some of you, this could be dealing, you, you guys could be, because I have justice, you could be dealing with the Libra, the hangman, the hierophant. This could be something legal. You could be waiting on some sort of legal decision and you're getting, and, and you're getting ready to receive it. Okay. It, 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 you could be a defendant. Huh. And you've been waiting on this settlement and it's getting ready to come towards you. But there is about to be communication about a heavy burden being dropped, Pisces. There is about to be movement. There's someone is moving. Okay. What why is the world here? Why is the world here for the baby sharks? Why is the world here for the baby shark spirit? Why is the world here for the baby sharks? What is this world about for my beautiful Pisces? See, there's that hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus and the hangman. There you go. The six of swords. See, and there's another card of movement. Okay. So look, I have three major arcanas here. I have the world, right? That's about learning a lesson. Traveling, cycles coming to an end. I have a hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be dealing with uh, definitely some sort of organization. This could definitely be something about work. But this is about a higher level of commitment, and I have the hangman. These are two very spiritual cards, okay? Someone has gotten enlightened. Someone has gotten wise. There's a cycle, a huge cycle coming to an end here, Pisces, okay? You are the hangman. So if you've been stuck here, there's some sort of cycle coming to an end, and there's some sort of wisdom being gained. The Six of Swords, someone is getting the hell out of Dodge and getting ready to get abundant, Pisces. You put this where this goes. Someone is being spiritually guided to get the hell out of Dodge, to move away, move on, or move past something, to get themselves abundant, okay? They're being spiritually guided, and I'm seeing new love coming in for us, Pisces. Wow. I love that. Let me go ahead and see what this fearless action is going to be. Why is this Knight of Swords here for us? There's a fearless action here, Pisces. Someone is getting ready to be fearless, possibly impulsive, okay? But there's something, there's someone is about that action, okay, Pisces? I might title that someone is about the action now. That's too many, Spirit. It may complain for me. It looks like someone is getting ready to take action. Seriously, Pisces. There's getting ready to be an ending to something. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here for the baby sharks? Why is that Knight of Swords here? The this uh, Pisces, the Knight of Swords, clarifying the Knight of Swords. What? What else? And the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands. So listen, Pisces. You put yourself where you go in this, but here we are. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a fearless action. Either you're taking it or it's coming towards you, okay? But this is for definitely. This fearless action, this truthful communication, this possibly harsh communication, fast communication, possibly this severance is going to release some sort of huge burden. There's going to be a huge burden released here, Pisces. Page of Wands, Three of Swords. There's going to be a new direction being taken, okay? Someone has done some introspection, and there's about to be an ending here. There's about to be an ending here, Pisces. Let me get a couple of moon. I, I'll get a, I'll get, you know what? I'm going to use a psychic tarot. I'm going to get, I'm just going to get a couple of, um, I pull a couple of cards on this situation for us, Pisces. And you put this where you go in this, okay? There's some sort of lesson being learned. Someone is getting ready to take an action. This could definitely be love. I have a soulmate connection here. I have a six of cups here, okay? And it's crossing the king of wands. It's crossing someone that's getting ready to take an action, okay? The king of wands does not sit on his ass. He takes action. So you could be the king of wands in this situation. You could be severing something. You could have gotten wise to something with someone and standing your ground now, holding back and getting ready to get the hell out of it or get, get the hell out of Dodge. Or this is an action that's coming towards you, Pisces. You put this where this goes. Give me more for this for spirit, from, from spirit, Pisces. What else can you tell me, spirit, for my beautiful baby sharks about this? Wow. What can you tell my baby sharks about this? What do you have for them? Okay. They, they flipped out. Heart chakras at the bottom of my deck. Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity begins. Truth. <laughs> Conflict and defeat. And Six of Cups. Guys. There's some sort of new beginning. Listen, if you're not reconnecting with a soulmate, a, a soulmate may come forward towards you to speak the truth, okay? And there's a possibility for a new beginning here. Some of you may not take this offer. Don't come in. I don't want them. If you don't want them, don't take them. You got a prosperity, a prosperity new beginning. You got an ace of pentacles coming your way regardless. There's a new beginning here. Something is ending here. There is someone who has memories of love of you, and they're conflicted. They're feeling defeated. They want to come forward and tell the truth and have a new beginning. It's going to be up to you to accept this person, Pisces. But I do see that there's some cycles ending here. Someone is learning some lessons. Some of you, uh, Pisces, someone is definitely, we, it looks like, are getting unstuck. 
seriously, okay? Again, guys, if the message resonates, remember to give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or a share. I do offer personal readings. If you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below. But Pisces, if this is where we part ways, I wish you guys the very best on your journeys. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Take care until the next time, my baby sharks. Bye-bye.